And we move on to one other issue, which is user interface, which is something which should be starting to concern you, or not concern you, but um, you should be aware of. Um, you want your interface to be usable to your user. Um, and currently, yeah, it's kind of usable. You know, you've got all the various graphical objects on the screen and you can select them. And um, because you've built the patch, you know pretty much what everything does. Or hopefully you do anyway. But for a, another user coming to your patch for the first time, it's not necessarily going to be obvious. So we want, first of all, to make your interface look good. And obviously... You know, there are all sorts of things you can do to make it look good. Um, and you can use your imagination to some extent in this respect. Um, but there's also ways in which you can make it usable and reasonably ergonomic for your user. And obviously, uh, if you do that, you will get more marks um, and your user will thank you too. Uh, I.e. me. Um, so, uh, first of all, what we'll do is we will... Uh, add some labels to the patch so that we know what the various bits do. We will add uh, one to here and as usual we will use comment box, comment um, objects. Uh, you can remember you can use the comments for this purpose i.e. to uh, label your patch or label your interface but you can also use them for commenting on your patch to explain what various bits of the, the patch are doing. And once again, if you explain those bits, what the bits of the patch do, you will get more marks. Um, so up here, we will uh, we will label this um, oscillator select. Oops. For example, I dare say you can think of more interesting things or more useful labels, but this will do for now. And we'll put one down here that is for attack. And it's worth spending the time doing this. So attack, decay, sustain, oops, and release. We might also have one for volume. And one for input and output. Uh, let's call it um, audio on off. So we now have uh, labels and we've got um, uh, so we know what all of the bits do. Now um, Max, I think I've already mentioned the presentation view uh, when I talked about the little emulator which I think was exercise 6b um, and that's what we're going to use here. So what I need to do is to select the various parts of the interface that I want to be displayed, which are all these bits. There you go. So those are the bits I want. And I need to go to the object menu and choose add to presentation. And this gives us a nice pink glow around all the various objects. And those will now be um, opened up in presentation mode. So we will go to presentation mode by clicking on the easel down here. Um, and only the bits that we've chosen for our interface will be displayed. And I can uh, put them wherever I want them. So I can put my... Uh, well, I could completely re rearrange these if I wanted to. So attack, decay, sustain, and release. Obviously you don't want to get these confused. Like that. We can align them by pressing uh, Command and Y or going to the object menu or is it Arrange? Uh, align. There you go. But obviously the quick key is quicker. Um, and we can put this one up here. Oscillator select. Um, we can put our volume perhaps here and resize it a little so that it is clearer. Maybe even make it big enough to... so that it kind of covers that size there and maybe put the audio on and off below that I don't know actually this isn't it's not going to 
worked terribly well, but never mind. And then put this up here. And it may be that you've got other things that you can put here, or um, or maybe you can put a logo there, or something like that. Um, or maybe we might put this over here, actually. You get the idea, anyway. So you can mess about with that and, and decide what, what works for you uh, in terms of how it looks. Well, actually, I suppose you put this here and make it bigger. As you can see, you can spend hours of time on this. Um, and obviously, I'd rather you spent more time making your patch um, work properly. But uh, you can still have a bit more fun with this. Um, OK, so there's that. You can also put in panels and you can put in pictures to make your uh, patch look good. So we can, if I double click and choose, where are we? Uh, is that a panel? There you go, panel. Pop a panel in there, either that or obviously you can put in an object and just write in panel and there it will put it there. Um, and you can put, say, a panel behind your various objects. Now obviously it's in front at the moment, um, so I'll sort that out in just a minute. I'm just going to make it an appropriate size first. And if I go to the arrange window, I, you'll notice that just as in Photoshop or whatever graphics program, you have various means of putting things at back or front. So we'll send this to the back. And I can make it a pretty colour. And I can give it a border. In fact, I can give it gradients, you'll be thrilled to know. Uh, I can't remember how you turn gradients on, though. Oh, here we are. I beg your pardon. Sorry. Filling mode is colour or gradient. There we are. That's better. Um, so you can... Uh, make you know a pretty gradient and you can decide I think the angle of your gradient as well uh, so gradient angle you can make it you know um, so that it's I think yes it's changing so we can make it say a, uh, 90 degrees and that makes it obviously go top to bottom or you can make it go at an angle 45 degrees as a fun, um, and we can give it a border size so we can make it, you know, uh, wide, you know, wide one or a narrow one or whatever, um, and so on. Okay, um, so you've made an interface which is, you know, usable ish. Um, well, it's certainly usable, whether it's pretty is a matter of opinion. Um, it kind of goes with my desktop actually, pleasingly. Uh, now the only other thing that we need to do is to make sure that it opens like that when you open the patch because at the moment it will open in uh, patching mode. Obviously this is kind of in the way now. Um, which is not really what you want. Um, so there is, if you go to the, I think the view menu, there we go, patcher inspector. If you go to there and then you can choose open in presentation. And if you choose that, then whenever you... Um, open your patch then it will open in presentation mode and obviously if I notice that you've done that and it opens in presentation mode then I shall be impressed so I hope you'll have watched this video and that will uh, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll be able to do that